Genesis 27, 42 through 28, 4, and 28, 10 through 22. When these words of her older son Esau were reported to Rebekah, she called her younger son Jacob and said, Your brother Esau is planning vengeance against you. He's going to kill you. Son, listen to me. Get out of here. Run for your life to Haran, to my brother Laban. Live with him for a while until your brother cools down, until his anger subsides and he forgets what you did to him. I'll then send for you and bring you back. Why should I lose both of you the same day? Rebekah spoke to Isaac. I'm sick to death of these Hittite women. If Jacob also marries a native Hittite woman, why live? So Isaac called in Jacob and blessed him. Then he ordered him, Don't take a Canaanite wife. Leave at once. Go to Padamaran to the family of your mother's father, Bethuel. Get a wife for yourself from the daughters of your uncle Laban. And may the strong God bless you and give you many, many children, a congregation of peoples, and pass on the blessing of Abraham to you and your descendants, so that you will get this land in which you live, this land God gave Abraham. Jacob left Beersheba and went to Haran. He came to a certain place and camped for the night since the sun had set. He took one of the stones there, set it under his head, and lay down to sleep. And he dreamed. A stairway was set on the ground, and it reached all the way to the sky. Angels of God were going up and going down on it. Then God was right before him, saying, I am God, the God of Abraham your father and the God of Isaac. I'm giving the ground on which you are sleeping to you and to your descendants. Your descendants will be as the dust of the earth. They'll stretch from west to east and from north to south. All the families of the earth will bless themselves in you and your descendants. Yes, I'll stay with you. I'll protect you wherever you go, and I'll bring you back to this very ground. I'll stick with you until I've done everything I promised you. Jacob woke up from his sleep. He said, God is in this place, truly, and I didn't even know it. He was terrified. He whispered in awe, Incredible, wonderful, holy, this is God's house. This is the gate of heaven. Jacob was up first thing in the morning. He took the stone he had used for his pillow and stood it up as a memorial pillar and poured oil over it. He christened the place Bethel, meaning God's house. The name of the town had been Luz until then. Jacob vowed a vow. If God stands by me and protects me on this journey on which I'm setting out, keeps me in food and clothing, and brings me back in one piece to my father's house, this God will be my God. This stone that I have set up as a memorial pillar will mark this as a place where God lives. And everything you give me, I'll return a tenth to you.